This is Chris Lewis with Lewis Equipment Service. Sometimes we get called in to help out in the middle of a job somebody's already started and ran into problems. So we're going to work on a D7E cat dozer. Uh, customers already got the blade off the front and front head off the engine. The problem is one lifter bore is worn out. So he's got a machinist that can bore that out and make a sleeve to repair it. But in order to do that, there is an injection pump that has to be removed, which from here back to here is the injection pump. And the reason we have to remove the injection pump is there is an inspection plate that goes down the whole side of the block that has to come off to be able to access the lifter bore. So what we've got to do is get the injection pump in time to start with on the timing gears in the front and then it unbolts in two pieces. The actual pump part is from right here back it comes off first and then the governor and primary pump and all that's inside this big housing here and it has to come off this piece weighs about 200 pounds so there's a lot of weight in it and quite a bit of things to take apart to get it off so we're going to take this off and then the machinist is going to repair the lifter bore and then we'll come back and put the whole machine back together for them. All right, guys. Chris kind of gave y'all a quick what's what. I'm going to show you kind of a quick look. You know, your hard nose be, you know, about here. And then, you know, you figure your blades pretty much this whole area. So that's the oil pan. Chris just got done telling me an interesting story. I'll, I'll let him tell you. Okay, when the hard nose is on the machine and you're doing like an in-frame overhaul or something and you need to pull that oil pan off, it will barely come out of there with the hard nose on. You have to fight it and work with it and get it just right and it'll come out. But that thing probably weighs over a hundred pounds because it's all cast iron. So the only way you can do it is just get under there, put it on your knees and, and work it around and you can finally get it out of there. And that, that's a major job. Like stabbing a transmission under a right, truck. Right. And wow. Luckily they went ahead and pulled the hard nose and radiator and all off so we can get to things we need to get to. And what the first thing we got to do, this little plate right here, we take it off and you can see the gears inside and we'll line up the timing marks between the cam gear and the injection pump. It has to be in time before we pull the pump. So when we get ready to put it back in, we can line the marks up to get it in time right. So that's where we're gonna start. It's getting it in time, and then it's just a matter of unbolting everything and getting it out of the way. Good deal. Yep, as you can tell, it's a, uh, for those of you that might not ever work on or get near a D7E, they're a behemoth. They're, they're, they're pretty big. So, but that, that's an interesting fact about the oil pan. That means you can probably do an in chassis rebuild if you needed to, since you can get the oil pan out, but just, uh, you know, it, it's big guys, it, it's big stuff, so. Let, let me throw in something else. This, this machine was probably built in the early 60s, and that's when they built machines with real metal 
everything's heavy duty, no electronics, it's all, all metal. So everything on it's very heavy. Engine RPM is way low. It only runs about 1800 RPM, but it has massive amounts of torque. Yeah. These, these things are all mechanical. There's, there's just, there's nothing electrical about them. So very cool. Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and set up and uh, get after it. Buddy. Chris is getting real close. He's already got the fuel filter pod off up here and the little side cover and the lines. And he's got, I believe, everything pretty close, ready to ready to go. So we'll keep rocking at it and get this thing out of here.
All right, everybody, so we got the injection pump off, as you can see, and we've got that plate off to get you access to the lifter board, so now the machinist can come in and do his job, and after that, me and Chris will jump back on this, and we'll get it back together, so the next time you see this piece of equipment, we should be going back. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. And don't forget to share and hit that notification bell.